Grizzly Taco. And, um, well, I was supposed to be on vacation, me and the family, but my daughter came down with a case of stomach virus, so we had to postpone our vacation, so we're stuck here. Um, don't know when we'll get to do it again, but, uh, you know, it is what it is, you know. Kids are sick, you gotta, you gotta take care of them, so. Uh, last night, I decided to go check out, or I should say the wife and I decided to go check out this new Dollar Tree that opened up uh, about a mile away from the house, and they opened up on Friday, and went in there, and I mean, the place is like, you know, brand new, spotless, clean, and everything was really organized, and it was pretty cool. Um, they got a lot of stuff in there, a uh, nice freezer area, uh, a lot of good things in there. They don't sell produce and stuff like they do at the 99 cent store, but you know, that's okay, because there's look a, a whole different variety of things that they have there, and I thought I'd share stuff I got with you. Now, because it's a brand new store and they just opened, they're having a couple of giveaways. They're doing one for kids and it's like a big basket full of candies and stuff. And all they had to do was guess how many gumballs were in this jar. So they, each kid got to take a shot at that. And I guess the drawing will be on, I think they said August 5th. And then they had one for, you know, the adults, which is uh, a drawing, one per household. And you get to go through the store and you get to fill a cart to the top of stuff for free. So I thought that was pretty cool. So we got in on that. You know, that'd be nice to walk around and, you know, come out of there with a cart full of stuff because I'm sure you can get quite a bit of things in there as long as you're not gigantic. So let me show you what I did get. And uh, the first thing I needed was uh, some windshield wiper fluid. I uh, ran low on mine, so hey. Would I rather spend three dollars at Walmart or ninety nine cents over at Dollar Tree? Doesn't take a genius to figure that out. Okay, um, we bought some um, a few treats. One of them was these uh, vanilla chocolate cream cookies, and they're in the cookie jar. I meant to pull one or two of them out so I could show you, but it's no big deal. Um, also, in the freezer section, I found these these extra large burritos, and I actually got two of them. And they were a buck a piece. I've had these before, and they're actually pretty good. So um, I picked up a few of those. I may go back and pick up a bunch and just put them in the freezer. And, um, you know, most of the time I like a Diet Coke. But once in a while I feel like a, a grape. I don't know why, I just like grape soda once in a while. So I picked up two bottles of these for a buck. You know, in uh, the store, they're $1.59 in uh, our little convenience store. So for a buck, not bad. And I was out of shaving cream. I've been using my daughter's shaving cream. So I went over there and I picked up a can of this, uh, Barbasol. Now, I used to use Edge, but Edge is like four and a quarter a can. And I've been using this for a long time, the Barbasol, which I get from the dollar stores. This stuff works just as well. I mean, I don't get any cuts, nicks, anything. So why would I pay that price when I can get it for a buck? And it lasts just as long, you know. So good deal there. Um, I also found this. I haven't seen this before in any of the dollar stores. It's uh, a three-pack of uh, jute twine, two different colors. Okay, I don't know if you can see it, but here let's hold it. Up. A roll of the regular color, a roll of the green, and another roll of the regular color. So not bad for a buck. Nice, they're not too big, so they'll fit in your kit real easily. Nice to have any kind of cordage, you know. As long as you can tie things up with it and hold things in place, you know, you're good to go. So I got that. Um, I also found some duct tape. I needed a little roll of duct tape, so I bought this one. Nothing, nothing fancy, but it'll work. Um, we also ran out of scotch tape, and you know, scotch tape can be a fortune, so I found these. We have a dispenser, and you know, it comes with six rolls, so I bought a six pack of these. These are especially nice to get before the holidays, you know, Christmas, because, you know, scotch tape is, it, it needs a crazy amount during the holidays, so six rolls for a buck. I'm going to probably go back and get another two packs, that way I'll be set for the holidays, and it only cost me, you know, a total of three bucks for, what, six, three, eighteen rolls. Not bad. I got that. I would have gotten more yesterday, but my funds were limited, so you know, got what I could what I could get. Another thing I got was this little first aid kit for a buck, and um, I don't know, it's it's kind of heavy.
beauty pouch, zippered, and it's by Assured. And let's see what's all in there. And they got a roll of first aid tape. They've got assorted size band aids. And oh, some of the big square band aid pads and some gauze. And little whoop, little thing of scissors. No, I'll drop that on the floor. I'll get it later. But not bad. You can always add to the kit. So um, that's the nice thing about these little any kit. You can just add your your own little touches, and it's small and a nice zipper. There we go. And it's got little loops in the back, so if you want, you can fit it on your your belt, carry it at your side or whatever. So if you cut yourself or somebody cut themselves, it's right there with you. Um, another thing I found was it's called it's by Dentec. It's Temperin Max. It's uh, repair loss fillings and loose caps. And uh, this is kind of neat, so I don't know if you can see it, but I'm trying to get their camera. And for a buck, come on now, this is perfect for your first aid kit. How many people have something to repair a tooth in their first aid kit? Really, um, not a whole lot, I don't think. Um, so it's something nice to have, and for a buck, come on, you can't go wrong. I probably should pick up a couple, but like I said, I was a little tight for money. Um, I spent twenty, a little over twenty bucks, which is a little about what I had, so that's not a bad deal. Another thing I found over there is that they had a bunch of different medications and I haven't seen this many like this at any place. Now there's, this is uh, the Excedrin migraine and there's three packets of two caplets. Now they had, what, 10, 12 different kinds of medications that were all the same in packets, two in a pack, three packs per box, so that's not bad. So. I am going to go back and pick up a bunch of those as, you know, I get some cash. Uh, like I said, funds were a little limited, so I got what I could. And I tend to get a lot of migraines, so this is this is for me. And I'll tell you what, this is perfect for this. Just shove them in there. Perfect. I might, got a little extra something there for my first aid kit. And the last thing I bought was this little pry bar. Uh, not too bad. It's actually kind of sharp there, and over here. Uh, I didn't have any, so I bought two, and I got one in my car, and then uh, this one I'm going to put in my wife's car. I might get another one and just put it in my, my book out bag because it's actually, you know, pretty cool. It's heavy duty. So, uh, come in handy. So, that's pretty much everything I bought. Um, other than the cookies, which I really couldn't show you. Oh, and we bought a little uh, three-pack of, uh, what is it called, yu -Hoon? I kind of like yu -Hoon, so did my daughter, so I bought that too, but we drank it last night, so I can't show you that. But I uh, hope you enjoyed my find. Um, wish me luck and my, my wife luck in winning that contest, you know, because it sure would be nice to go down there and fill up a cart and come out there with a ton of stuff. So I do appreciate you watching my video. Um, please feel free to like, comment, subscribe, and share with others. Thank you so much.